Welcome back to the Sports Perspective TV viewers and subscribers. As always, thank you for tuning in. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet, you know, definitely hit that subscribe button. So in this video, um, we're going to be talking about the West Indies women team. They had another victory today against Sri Lanka, which means they, they have won their T20 series. So I'm going to be giving you the scores in that match and then also talking about the series overall and a few other things as well. Right. And. Um, and also the question for you, the viewers and subscribers, to answer, you know, so based on this series victory, um, the West Indies, they lost the 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 50 over series comprehensively, but they won the the um the T20 series. And I've noticed a pattern with our teams, both our men team and our women team, right? So in the shortest format of the game, like we we are are very good, you know, we, we can challenge any team. But in the longer format of the game, whether it's a 50 over or test matches, um, we tend to struggle a bit, right? So my question for you, the viewers and subscribers, you know, um, I want you to answer in the comment section and let me know your thoughts. You know, um, do um does our team um have a concentration issue? You know, um, do, um West Indian players overall, um, do they have a concentration issue? Um, because they they seem to perform well in the shorter formats, but in the longer formats, it, it's it's they, they tend to struggle. And is it a concentration issue um, that's causing that problem? You know, let me know what you think in the comment section as it relates to that, right? Um, so to get to the, the match today and the, the T20 series, so um, the West Indies, they, they um, defeated Sri Lanka um, by, um, by, by six wickets today in the, the, the third and final T20 match. Um, it was a high scoring match. Um, so Sri Lanka batting first, you know, they, they scored 141 for seven of their 20 overs, you know, um, definitely the highest score of the series so far. And um, it looked like a daunting task for the West Indies team. It was a daunting task, but the West Indies team showed up with the bat and were able to, to get over the board. Um, so leading the way with the ball for West Indies was um, Alia Alene. She took two for 25 from her four overs, you know, Afi Fletcher. She had another brilliant uh, bowling performance today as well. You know, she's been bowling well all series. She took two for two for twenty-five as well. And uh, Chanel Henry, she took one for sixteen. And uh, they they were the, the, the main wicket takers for the West Indies team in their um, their bowling effort um, to restrict Sri Lanka to one forty-one for seven. Um, West Indies in reply, they were able to get to hundred and forty-two for four of 19.5 overs so it was a close chase it required um going down to the, the, the last over the last few balls of, of the of, of the match but uh it was brilliant but batting by west indies to get to that total like i said 140 something um is the highest score of of of, of the um series so far and it's 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 a big total um in in the context of of t20 cricket as it relates to women's cricket right so leading the way with the bat for um the west indies was Captain Haley Matthews. You know, she scored 49 of, of 40. You know, I'm unfortunate that that she didn't um, get her half century, but, you know, nevertheless, that innings that she played, um, it helped to carry the team um, to victory. Um, also scoring runs for um, West Indies was Shemaine Campbell. She scored at um, 41 of 30. And uh, Stephanie Taylor, she scored 33 of 30 as well, right? So they were the main contributors um with the bat for the West Indies women team. Uh Shermaine Campbell actually ended on 41, not out. You know, so uh, you know after um Taylor and Matthews got out, you know, um Campbell was still there and you know carried the innings to the end and made sure that the team won. Um interestingly though what I what I, I noticed is was that um Haley Matthews and Stephanie Taylor opened the innings in this match. And they put on a brilliant partnership, you know. Matthews getting 30, uh, Matthews getting 49, and, and Taylor getting 33. So that's what got the team off to a good start. So um, I think it's the first time I'm 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 seeing this um, that Stephanie Taylor opened with Haley Matthews. So I'm wondering if this is something that the team can capitalize on going forward. You know, seeing that um, they they played well in this match, you know. Um, Haley Matthews and um, Stephanie Taylor. Stephanie Taylor is the most experienced player, of course. You know she's been around for a while, even captain the team at at um for a few years also. So 
she has a lot of experience and Haley Matthews, you know, being the captain now, you know, being the best player on the team now, you know, um, I'm wondering if if that's something that they can look 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 towards doing um for the future as well. You know, but I noticed it in this match and it definitely worked well for the team in this match. So it might be something for them to consider um for the future. Um but I guess it will depend on match situations and teams, right? Because Stephanie Taylor is a very experienced player. So you can also look at it from the standpoint of whether or not you want your most experienced players, both of your most experienced players to be opening. And if they get out early, then what happens? But it worked in this match. So it's definitely something that they can or should consider going forward. Um, so um, as far as the series overall, right? So leading the way um, with the bat for us, as usual, you know, um, no, definitely no surprise was uh, Haley Matthews. You know, she scored 108 runs um, from the three matches in this series. She was the leading run scorer in the series uh, overall, you know, with her 108 runs. Um, Stephanie Taylor, she scored 72 runs overall in the series. So both her and um, Haley Matthews uh, were the leading run scorers for the West Indies team. As it relates to the bat, uh, Stephanie Taylor was the third highest run scorer in the series. So a good series by Steph, you know, um, she also um, scored, a, 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 I think, if I remember correct, correctly, she scored a few runs in the in the ODI series as well. But um, Haley Matthews missed the last few matches of the ODI series that are due to injury. So good to see that Haley coming back from injury um, in the T20 series, you know, where um, she was able to pretty much continue where she left off, you know, scoring runs for the team and leading from the front as usual. Um, she didn't take that much wickets with the ball this time, but, you know, um, that's what that's why it's a team, right? So even though Matthews didn't take any wickets, um, that many wickets, um, or a team, uh, Afi Fletcher, she stepped up with the ball for the team. You know, she took eight wickets in the three matches. You know, um, she was the leading wicket taker in the series overall. Um, uh, so that that's good to see. You know, like um, that, that that's why it's a team. You know, so Matthews didn't take wickets as she normally does, but somebody else was able to step up and um do the job for the team with the ball right so a huge shout out to Afi Fletcher on her brilliant um series with the ball for the West Indies women team you know leading the way overall you know in terms of wickets 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 taken with eight wickets taken um in this series so a huge shout out to her and congratulations on her brilliant series um but yeah so it's good to see um that the team is doing well in the T20 format I uh, would have loved to, um, for them to put on a better showing in the, the 50 over um, series as well. But that it didn't happen, right? So just have to move on and look forward to um, the next series. And because the, the Women T20 World Cup is coming up in October as well. So as far as um, priority and uh, urgency, then, you know, the um, T20 is definitely more of a priority for the West Indies right now and are more urgent right so it's good to see that they so this is now consecutive uh, t20 series victories coming off the back of that um series victory that they had against pakistan as well so um going into the i'm not sure if there are any more t20 series um coming up for the team between now and october which i, I do think there should be but i i don't have that information with me right now but um they should have a few more matches coming up right um and hopefully they can continue in this um, um, form, in the T20 format, heading into the T20 World Cup, where they look to put on um, a good performance and possibly winning that the T20 World Cup as well, right? Um, but, you know, congratulations to the West Indies women team. You know, um, job well done in the T20 series. And uh, hopefully they can just build on this and continue to go from strength to strength. Um, that's all I have for you in this video, viewers and subscribers. As always, thank you for tuning in. Do remember to like the video comment on the video, share the video, or and subscribe to the channel. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video.